I'm a, I'm a filmmaker, I'm an activist, and I'm the founder and director of Hanoi International Queer Film Week, which is uh, an international queer film festival based in Hanoi. Um, so I started that film festival four years ago um, when I was 18. And a lot of people asked me, why did I start it? And my answer was simple, because I love it because I love cinema. I have been in love with cinema since I was this big. My grandmother used to work um, at a cinema and that's why, that was why I always came to um, her workplace, a cinema, every time, every day after school, since I was three, I guess. Um, and, you know, I still remember the feeling of me, the three-year-old me, sitting in an auditorium. In front of me was a big screen and surrounded by the sound and the music from wonderful movies from all over the world. And for, for a three-year-old kid, it was truly magic, like seeing everything. Um, and the love for cinema grew inside of me since then. Fifteen years later, I started my film school and started learning about how, how to make movies and how film can really affect us and how film actually works. So how? 24 frames per second. That's the answer which means if you take 24 pictures continuously and you put them together, you got motion picture. And when you use motion picture to tell a story, it is film. It is cinema. So, again, um, our brain operates um, over image, not over words. Which mean when I told you when I tell you the word monkey. Basically, you will not spell the word inside of your head, right? You will think of a monkey, like you will think whether it's black or brown, it has a tail or not. If I tell you that it, the monkey is in the forest and like having a banana on its hand and climbing up and down the tree, the whole scene will be in your head. Now imagine the whole scene in front of you and it has a context and everything is in front of you. You will see the monkey vividly right there on like the screen this big. You will see it. So that is how cinema works. That is how we use it to tell the story. When you watch film, it's like the whole reality is created in front of you. And that is film, that is cinema. So um, I still remember a, a quote from director Spike Lee. He said, film can hurt people. Film can also help people. Why is that? Most of us here, I believe, we cried, we laughed, we feel happy, we feel sad because of a film, some films, sometimes. Because we feel related or because we see ourselves in the film or maybe we just touch by the film. Film can touch our heart and affect us in a very unexpected way. And that is why film is actually used in a lot of movement or world, even the world. Uh, from all over the world, like for example, the World War II, or like a lot of other movement in the world, they use it, especially in the Vietnam War, um, our, our government used cinema as a tool um, in the world too. So anyway, it's a long story. Um, but that makes me think, I'm an activist myself. How can I use film? How can I use what I learned in 
the LGBT activism in Vietnam. And maybe at that time, the Queer Film Festival was the answer. Because I was looking around and I, I, I re-watched um, mostly every Vietnamese film about queer people at that time. And I can see queer people were put in a lot of different stereotypes. Gay people might be, you know, very feminine and they were always like doing this or like, you know, like it, it, it makes you laugh because it's art, it's unusual. And okay, so after that five years later, they stop, they still a joke, but now they have a new stereotype. There are more gay people on screen and they appear like very miserable. And they were like always crying about how, like who they are and, and how they were treated. But like you see, the stereotype is just there. And I'm, I'm, it's not about right or wrong, you know? Like there's no right image or wrong image of queer people. It's just how diverse we can, cre like how diverse the film could be how diverse the story could be through our lens, the filmmaker's lens. How can we change it? So the film festival would be, you know, like the playground for filmmakers. So they would have uh, a place to screen their film. They will have a, an award or something like that. It will empower them or, or encourage them to tell the story uh, about queer people, maybe. But it's not, it's not exactly the answer yet. The answer is actually in the audience's hand. Because cell-driven market, the audiences are actually people who created the trend. And the filmmakers, especially those commercial film filmmakers, really focus on the audiences. And they want to make what the audience want to see. There was a case in 2014, um, if you know the film, they might think, Fool for Love. Um, there was a version, uh, an edition in uh, 20, 2010. Um, and in the 2014 edition, they, um, they made the second part and they uh, have the supporting character in the 2010 um, edition, which is um, a transgender woman into the main character this time. And it created a lot of debates over the film because it has a lot of pro pro problematic scenes. Of, as, for example, the scene like when she was arrested and she asked the police to change the chamber uh, into the, the female's room. But she immediately changed her idea when she saw a very handsome man in the male's chamber. And that created a lot of you know, debates in the in, in, in a society. Uh, it on social net uh, on social media, um, the activists LGBT activists at that time even have a boycott movement on that film called Hội Không Thể Tính. Hội, you know, like it's hard to really translate it correctly in uh, in English um, because like the name of the film was Để Hội Tính. So the yeah, anyway, <laughs> so. I want to change the audience. That is why the film festival, I really want to make it for the viewers, for the people who come to the event. It's not about how many people I can reach, but how deep I can touch a person. We can touch a person using films. Right here in this auditorium in 2019, we had the third Hanoi International Queer Film Week last year. There was an audience I could never forget. He was, he was blind. And he, on the last screening day, he stood up and like that screening was about uh, having films about LGBT people who are also disabled. So he stood up and he said some words he said that it was his first time in a cinema and he came here because he, feel re he felt related and he felt, I cannot remember his correct word, but the feeling was, 
I was doing something right. I could touch someone. We could touch someone. And the audiences are changing. And we can show different things through films. And it, it really works. We had old people who never see, uh, who never heard of LGBT people came here and they say that they, now they know that queer people can have kids. We have um, some workers walking on the street and they saw our flyers and they came here because it's free. <laughs> it's free screening and they came here and they watched a uh, queer film and they said, oh, they're guys and they're kissing. And it was surprising to them, but you know, now they know. Some people, they change in different way, but I can see the change. In each audience I saw in this auditorium, because I always stood over there, I always stand over there and, you know, see the, their face, listen to their conversation after the screening. And um, I know it was, I know it's, I has done something right. I don't know, I mean, like right for me, maybe. Um, but I believe that if the audiences change the way they watch film, and if I can touch someone like that, we can change the whole universe. <laughs>